welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. It is grocery haul day. I have quite a large haul this week. I actually did Walmart pickup, Trader Joe's, and Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. I have lots of good recipes on my agenda for the week, so I had to get quite a few good things. So I'm going to take you guys through my grocery haul. We're also going to talk about what I am doing for dinners for the week, as well as what you'll be seeing on Monday in my meal prep video. I have a breakfast a lunch, and a sweet treat. So let's jump right in to this week's grocery haul. All right, I'm back with this week's grocery haul. So I did a Walmart pickup. I went to Trader Joe's and a quick stop at Fred Meyer just for a few things that Trader Joe's doesn't carry. So we have a big haul this week, so let's jump right in. First, I picked up a variety pack of little bags of chips for my husband's lunch. Something's going on outside. Uh, so he likes to have these in his lunch. I like to show these because they are Weight Watchers friendly. They're individually bagged, so portion control is there, which is nice. So I grabbed those for his lunch. Restocked my Forager cashew milk. I've been having a lot of smoothies slash protein shakes. I've been going through a lot of non-dairy milk, so grabbed another one of this. This is my very favorite. Perfect ingredients if you guys can get your hands on this. Also, some more of the organic light whipped cream cheese from Trader Joe's. I need this for a recipe, and then I also like to put this on my Ezekiel Raisin Toast. I think it adds a really nice flavor and texture. I did grab some non-fat Greek yogurt for a recipe. As you know, I generally only eat full-fat yogurt, but when I'm putting it in a recipe and cooking it and processing it down in the recipe, it's defeating its nutritional value anyway, so I might as well save the calories and points and go with a non-fat Greek yogurt. So this is just a medium-sized tub of the fa -A. That's my favorite. Also at Trader Joe's, I restocked my triple organic filtered coconut oil. This is my favorite coconut oil, and it's super affordable at Trader Joe's, and I'm just about out, so I grabbed another one of those. Also, some more of the Ezekiel English muffins. This is the seven sprouted grains. I made this for my lunch meal prep, and then I always just like to have these on hand. I love toasting these up with some nut butter. They really are the best English muffins, and anytime you can get a sprouted grain, you have a much healthier bread. And these are found in the freezer section of your grocery store, normally with the health food. Some more Parmesan cheese just because we were out and I do need it for a couple of recipes. I find Walmart has the best price for Parmesan, so I always pick it up there. Some whole milk mozzarella cheese. My husband is having calzones for lunches this next week, which I forgot the dough at Trader Joe's, so I have to go back. But I did uh, get the mozzarella cheese for those. And also the pizza squeeze from Contadina. This is the pizza sauce I'm going to use. I figured the squeeze top would make it really easy to be careful on how much I'm putting in the calzone. Also from Walmart, some of the organic ground turmeric, just because I didn't have any. And I've had actually several recipes that have called for this and I've just never had it on hand. So since I did a grocery pickup, I grabbed that. Two big cans of sliced olives uh, for the calzones as well as for a dinner recipe. So I had to pick up two cans. Two big cans of cut green beans for the dogs. You guys know they have these instead of table scraps whenever we're having a meal. So I grabbed two more cans of those. Back here I have another big box of the GT's kombucha with the six bottles. There is two of the Trilogy, two of the Gingerade, and two of the Ginger Berry, which is my favorite kombucha. So this is only $15 at Walmart, which is a really good deal because these are over $3 a bottle at the store. So pick that up. I'm that way I have kombucha on hand for the week. Also for my lunch, I am making salmon burgers. So I picked up two cans of salmon, wildcat, a wild caught Kroger Alaskan salmon. This one's in the US. They only had one can of this. So I also had to get the Bumblebee brand. This one's from Thailand. And I can't remember if that's a good place to source salmon or not. So I'm going to have to make do with what was available. All the canned meats were pretty much gone. So those are for my lunch prep. Also, I grabbed pepperoni for my husband's calzones and then turkey pepperoni for a dinner recipe. I prefer the turkey pepperoni and he doesn't really care for his calzones, so I grabbed the sliced. 
And then this is new at Trader Joe's. I tried to get this last week and they were out. These are the jicama wrap. So basically it's a really thin sliced jicama, which is a starchy vegetable. It's kind of sweet, but has a crunch like a potato. But look what it says, great for tacos. So I am here for it. You guys, these are 15 calories for two wraps, zero points, because all that's in here is jicama. So I'm gonna try it as a tortilla replacement and see what I think because can't beat a tortilla replacement for zero smart points. These are found in the vegan area at Trader Joe's if you are looking. Restocked my melt plant-based butter. You guys know this is my very, very favorite butter. Love it. Also, since I did a Walmart pickup and they were out last week, I restocked my Clio bar. So I have four of the strawberry and four of the vanilla. You guys, I love these. They're so delicious. It's yogurt wrapped in chocolate and it is like you are eating cheesecake. It is that good. I'd say the vanilla is my favorite with strawberry as a runner up. So I have eight total, four of each. Also, since I did a Walmart pickup, I stocked up on my favorite ground beef. This is the market side grass fed and grass finished 93 7 organic ground beef. You guys, this is the best price at $6.48 a pound. So they allowed me to grab four pounds. So since I could, I grab those and I'll throw them in the freezer. I also picked up two pounds of the Foster Farm Simply Raised Ground Turkey in 99% fat free. Best price is at Walmart and it's really hard for me to find organic. So I just go with the best alternative to that, which is this one. And I think everything else is produce. So first I have two bags of the Great Value Organic Mixed Veggies. We really like these and they're for the freezer. So it makes it really easy to keep them on hand. Two big things of strawberries. I grabbed one pound in my Walmart pickup just in case Trader Joe's didn't have any good ones, but they did. Look at those gorgeous strawberries. So I grabbed those as well. I actually need this for my breakfast meal prep as well as for a fruit or snacks for the week. Grab some iceberg lettuce for my husband's tacos. I'm just going to chop that up. A couple of green peppers. I need those for two separate dinner recipes. A big orange, I grabbed an organic apple and orange and I ate the apple on my way home, I was starving. So I have an orange here, I just wasn't sure what I wanted, so I grabbed one of each. Broccoli florets, this is for a dinner recipe and these are already pre-cut, everything super easy for recipes. Also, I needed some dill, so I grabbed this dill and some blueberries. I thought this was a pretty good deal. I think it was $3.99 for this container of blueberries. So I thought the strawberry blueberry fruit mixture has kind of been one of my favorites. So I grabbed those for the week. Some cherry tomatoes. This is actually for a sheet pan. I'm doing like a pizza sheet pan dinner. I can't wait to share it with you guys, but it actually calls for cherry tomatoes. Two packages of cremini mushrooms because I need them for a couple of different recipes. You can see I grabbed two huge bundles of bananas. I picked up this one at Fred Meyer because it was a little less ripe. And then I grabbed these from Trader Joe's uh, because they were a little more ripe. So what I like to do is let these get super, super, super ripe. And then I like to freeze them for my smoothies. And I'm completely out of frozen bananas. So I grabbed quite a few. Some lime juice just for a couple recipes. And I always like to have lime and lemon juice on hand. A repeat purchase of watermelon. We ate the entire last one. It was so delicious. So I can't wait to chop this up and have that for the week. A big bag of gold potatoes. I need potatoes for several recipes this next week. And I think I have like two of the ones I bought last week left. And then some lettuce, some baby spring mix for salads because I've been all about the salads. I needed arugula for a recipe and then whatever is left, I'll add to my salad. I do kind of like that spiciness of the arugula, so I'll mix those two together. And a bag of lemons for my water. I am now back on a lemon kick. I was on a lime kick for a while, so I grabbed some lemons for my water. And then I actually needed two limes for a couple of recipes, so I picked those up as well. So the only thing not shown is a case of Diet Coke and some Coors Light, but this is this week's grocery haul. So let's jump in to meal plan and meal prep. All right, so here's my meal plan for the week. Really quick, the meal planner that I use is this beautiful Carrie L 
However, due to everything going on, unfortunately, they had to lay off all their staff, which makes me sad. They're a small, small business. So you can only pick up the digital version of the meal planner. But if you're interested in that, my code does work for that as well. Um, I'll put it here on the screen for you guys, but you can just wait until things get back to normal a little bit and they reopen, I'll definitely let you know. And then you can actually pick up the spiral bound meal planner, which I love. And the link down below is the link you would use to go through and get the 10% off and then enter the code at checkout. So hopefully they can reopen and hire their employees back soon. So this is my plan for the week. So this is the week of May 9th through May 15th. Today is an out to dinner, support a local business. Every Saturday is the day I use my weeklies and we like to go out for dinner and support someone local. So that's the plan for tonight. Tomorrow I am making mac and cheese with chicken and veggies. Of course, these are all clean eating recipes. And this one you guys will see in my What I Eat in a Day posted next Wednesday. Monday, I like to do the 430 Jazzercise. So that is a leftover night. Tuesday, I'm doing a ground beef stroganoff. Also sounds so good. Wednesday is chicken sausage gnocchi skillet. So chicken, sausage, and gnocchi, uh, yum. Thursday, we'll do leftovers just because I imagine we'll have quite a few from the week. And Friday is chicken pizza sheet pan. Oh, sounds so good. So on the back of where I track my dinners, I also track my meal prep. So these recipes you will see on Monday in my meal prep video. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be prepping strawberry shortcake chaffles. Oh my goodness, cannot wait. Lunch is salmon burgers, and I'll be pairing that with most likely some sort of a vegetable. And then for a snack this week, I'm so excited for this. The weather is warming up. It's giving me that tropical vibe. I am making coconut lime oat bars. So all three of these recipes will be posted on Monday in meal prep. So that is what is on my agenda for the week. And yes, if you're interested in supporting Carrie L, I'm sure any support you could give them during this time would be very much appreciated. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Grocery Haul. Whew, we had quite the haul this week. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, seeing what I'm having for dinner, and stay tuned on Monday for that amazing meal prep. You're going to see all three recipes, and of course, the recipes will be on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box, as well as the links to all of my favorite things and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. So if you haven't joined us over there, we would love to have you be part of that community. So come on over and join us. If you're new to my channel, I do a grocery haul every single Saturday, plus I upload most days of the week, so you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button and the bell just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. If you love grocery hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and I really, really appreciate it. And of course, leave those comments down below. I wanna know which of these recipes are you excited to see in meal prep or which dinner recipe do you wanna make for your family? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful Saturday and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.